Habarigani tribe! Clearly, I'm at work. I am in my boutique. Afro t-shirt and a simple pair of Africa earrings. And so this is just a small introduction describing what I have started. And so I thought about what do I do with all of my remaining footage? The footage where my hair wasn't perfect, the footage where I didn't have the best intro, the footage where I didn't have a solid exit. And that's when I came up with the bright idea. How about a 30 day video dump? And so if you are tuning in, this is a 30 day series of random videos that I'd like to show you guys. So sit back, relax. I'm about to unveil all of my lost files. Okay, so after about two hours of driving from Nairobi, I have finally arrived at the Crescent Island. I've never been here. I hear that it is absolutely magical. I'm excited to have this experience for myself. I've heard lots of things like you boat over, you can walk with the animals. Is this true? Is this false? I don't know, but give me a minute. Hang tight. It's about to be an adventure. A smaller one. Yes. You need the baby one. <laughs> The one for you. you probably need this one and let me have it. Okay, how do I? Do it? Okay, how do I do it properly? Yeah, it's taking the waste. <laughs> taking the Okay, so I have on my shades, I have on my vest, right? Like, God forbid that this vest doesn't work. I am going down. Fabulous. Okay, so I officially have the best guide. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she packed us. Oh, say hi, Monica. Hi. Say hi, Sissy. Hi. No, don't you? Chrissy, say hi. Chrissy's trying to trying to hide. We have Simon, the best driver in Nairobi. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so our guide actually packed us lunch. So I'm not sure what's in here. You guys will find out later, but I'm sure that it's yummy. We have some water to stay hydrated. I don't know, it's, it's heavy. Whatever it is, it's solid. Whatever it is, I'm gonna be very happy with it. Let me see. Okay, so we haven't even made it to the island yet. And I have seen so many animals. Um, I've seen the zebra. I have seen... What other animals have we seen? I've seen birds. I've seen birds. I've seen... I, I want to say that I've seen gazelles. I'm not sure. Something in the gazelle family. Um, I've also been warned that there is a wild water buffalo on the prowl. He's loose somewhere. I'm like, what do you do if you come in contact with the water buffalo? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, why do we have on a life vest? But in all reality, these boats aren't big enough to hold Jack and Rose. Like they're very small, they're very compact, they're very lightweight. Um, 
But I trust in us. I, tr I trust my God. I trust that he'll take good care of me. Yep. Dennis, say hi. Oh. He's us with a big stick. It's like yeah, a the, fishing the boat. So the journey is beginning. I'm excited. Christina, are you excited? Christina, Christina's taking selfies. No, I'm taking a video. Oh, a video. Yeah, you're really excited. Yeah, you're so, uh, you'll be happy. Uh, oh, the monkeys. In Lake Nevasha, we had one indigenous fish before a large amount of that was introduced in 1929. Followed by the Lapia in 1956 and followed by the catfish 2001 being brought from USA and to introduce mm. to Lake Naivasha. No. In Lake Naivasha, the deepest part of the lake lies here within the island. It's the deepest part. And in the community, I come from the Maasai. The women cut the leaves. These are the leaves of the tree. They bury in the ground for one week or two weeks to ferment. Then they remove. They bond with the sticks to remove the fiber. Then they use the sisal to make the ropes and also to make the mat. The mat they make, they used to put on the top of the Maasai houses. Have you seen the Maasai hut? Yes. It refers to the cow dung. And it acts like a water flow. When it rains, rain water cannot go direct into the house. So it acts like water flow. And in my community, it is women who build the houses, but not men in Maasai. It's women who build the houses, but not men. Plant here is a type of euphobia and it's known as euphobia busei or kibusenzi. In our language, Masai, we call it Olbobo, Kikuyu, they call it Kiduri, Kamba, they call it Kidui. The plant here is more acidic and poison. No animal feed on the plant completely. It contains milk in the leaves 
and when a drop of milk get into your eyes then you will get blind completely and when you have a fresh wound and a drop of milk get into into it then it will burn like acid it reach the flesh within no time until it reaches the bone so mm. the tree the plant here is more acidic and the poison no plant no animal feed on it but sometimes it is useful it bear flowers the bees come for nectar they make honey the honey they make is more bitter but in the community I come from the Maa side, we use the honey to give to the elderly people and the young children when they have pain in their chest and also aching in their bones and it cures. So the honey is medicine in our community that the bees made from the nectar from the flowers of the plant. So our guide is currently locating a giraffe. I'm really eager. I don't think I've ever been this close to a giraffe outside of Giraffe Center. I've been in Kenya several times. I have never been to Giraffe Manor because I think that it's super expensive, at least for me. And I try to support all of the local places. So I've been to Giraffe Center. I've fed a giraffe. That is about as close as I have gotten. We have a giraffe place in Tampa. Actually, it's not a giraffe place. It's a zoo. It's Laurie Park Zoo, and they have an area where you can feed the giraffe, but you don't get very close. And so, I'm eager and a bit nervous. No, just stay. So I'm finally close enough. Okay, so honestly, I thought I'd be like a big ball of nerves, but I'm not. Um, I'm actually not afraid at all. On the ground. Yeah, it's a love wing. Uh, there's a story that we have given you when uh, young boys in Maasai, we love more stories and we mostly associated with the animals. That the bird is yeah, the love wing. They are friends with uh, another bird known as a bat. You know the bat? Yeah. So Crescent Island has absolutely been overwhelming. Originally I thought, okay, I'd walk with some animals, I'd take a boat ride, but now I'm about to eat my pack lunch with them. And so this tour has actually granted me a lot of surprises, more than I expected. And so I'm in love with this place. I don't know why I haven't come here sooner. Typically I come here for work, I visit my friends, I visit family, and then I'm out. But this trip, I am taking all of Kenya in, and I'm grateful. Look at the little antelope. Yeah, yeah, those are those are gazelles. Bala, they do group themselves into two groups. They have the bachelor group. So we are so, that animal associated with the birds, associated with the animals, so that the, the insect being disturbed by the animals when placing so it eats the insect. Oh, the white the white barrier. Oh, look, the Maasai is strong. Yes. <laughs> He's just skinny, but strong. Bye. 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 Bye.
Petalus. What's the original color? Pink? You only mad? The black are they usually. Take you bird watching. We don't know. <laughs> Told you that compassion that you like. fish eagle. The eagle soar high, high, high. Uh oh. So you try. I try to go on this side. <coughs> okay. Are you ready? I don't think so. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Well, tribe, this brings us to the end of our excursion. And I know that it's only day two of me posting, but I feel like I've learned so many things by dumping out these videos. I've learned that sometimes life isn't perfect. Sometimes your eyes are closed during photos. Sometimes you've added weight and you can't find the perfect angle. Sometimes your makeup isn't blended properly. But life goes on. And life is still beautiful. I hope that you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's vlog. And until the next adventure tribe, quietly.